Ah, ah, it's here. It's here. Oh my God. Oh my God. How do you know when union is right there? How do you know when it's when it's so close, when you're approaching it very, very rapidly? I can't believe it! Right? Like, is it, does something occur and you just, boom, you work through it like that? You know, like something, you know, your twin does something and you're like, oh, I can work through this. And bam, you work through it. And it was easy. It was a cinch. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Or, you know, visit asoneguidance.com and go through all the information, see how I can help you work through this journey, work through your blocks, work through your upsets, really progress and, and get results throughout this journey. And, you know, check out my e-course that's building the, your foundation to unconditional love like without a, a, a solid foundation of unconditional love like there's no union there's no union without that so if you are you know if something happens your twin says something or your twin does something and you know your first reaction is to blame them or to call them a bunch of names or, you know, to get some kind of, like, revenge or just get really pissed off and, you know, pouty and whatever. That's all immature response. It's an immature response. Think about this. I don't, it doesn't matter what they're doing. Well, they're doing it. Immature. That's an immature response. But the, immature. Where is your maturity? Where is your uh, ability to handle these things? Because other things are going to happen when you're in union. What's your response going to be? Is it going to? Are you going to revert back to like kicking and screaming? Because that's not going to work. Think about think about like the the basis of what you're what you're asking for. This true love and this union between adults that like nobody is going to stand for that's not that might be like uh an old way of your relationship game that you you know kicked and screamed and did a bunch of nonsense to get your way but that isn't this not at all so like, do you work, do you, does your twin do something or say something and it triggers the living shit out of you? And then you're like, oh, that's what, that's what this is. I know it. I know how to handle it. I'm going to work through it like this and easy. What's next? Or is your maturity level to, you know, well, they're, they're they're having a relationship with somebody else, so I'm gonna immature. Who wants that? No one. You know, maybe, maybe some random person that you pass by on the street wants that with you, but your twin surely doesn't, and that's not at all attractive to them. Well, you could say, well, why do I have to be the one? Come on, that's also an immature response. Like, think about this. Are you, are you like really, uh, you know, taking ownership and taking responsibility of your life, and you know, being, uh, being able to withstand anything that that is being thrown at you? Be, be really honest with yourself. I mean, there's nobody else to be honest about it with. You know, you're not going to fool. Uh, you could fool people, but they don't, they don't make your union come true. Only you do, and God does. And you can't sure as hell can't, be, can't fool God. I mean, think about this. You say, well, I'm ready because, like, 
my twin, you know, told me they don't want to be with me, and I, I like, threw things at the wall for eight straight days, but like now I'm better. Cool. Immature response for eight straight days instead of just working through it. You know, doing what's necessary to heal your upsets and heal your blocks. And that's what's really, uh, you know, differ differentiating you between uh, being super close to union uh, and, and all your dreams coming true to, you know, acting like a third grader. Like, no matter how old you are, if you're on this journey, uh, it's on you to make the mature and adult-like decision, regardless even if you're 15 or 16 years old and you're on this journey, uh, you are. Uh, you need to make mature choices. You need to have re mature reactions and responses to things. And 100%, you know, certain things suck, but it's how you handle that and how you approach that handling of the situation. Right? Is it? Is it going to be? You know, is it going to be that you release all of uh, the nonsense and the bullshit that, that's holding you back to uh, really taking steps forward in your journey? Or are you, are you going to stay there? Are you going to stay in that place and just like whine for uh, who knows how long until you snap out of it? And you really take the reins and, 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 you know, start to move forward on this journey. Because that's what it's about. It's about expanding yourself and being, uh, growing and being like into that secureness and, 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 uh, being solid and, and having like the, the knowledge and, and, and everything that you need to, uh, Further yourself along in life and with your true love. Because it's not going to be like um, you're not going to get together in union and you know start having some kind of like jealousy pattern or you know blame blame game thing or just you know playing those dumb relationship games with each other. That's that's not at all what it is. It's not what it is and that's not what you're going to get. So you're getting, if you're playing those games right now, then that's exactly what you're getting. They're playing the games right back with you. If you want a mature response, you give a mature answer, right? So really evaluate this. Really evaluate yourself. And choose to move forward. Uh, visit AslanGuidance.com for uh, the details on how to do that. And I will see you next time.